was doing bullshit tricks, but with the same mystique. Yeah, hey, of course. Okay. Of I'm, course. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a trick for you. Okay, don't be scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> and just, I, I, I tied these two Japanese girls' hands together. I was like, no, you're Siamese twins. And they just looked around like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what have you been up to, dude? I mean, you know, that's kind, kind of a dumb question. I had a show today in Jersey at the Stress Factory. And the guy that owns the Stress Factory, Vinny, he built a big-ass, real state-of-the-art like circus tent almost the shit is fire dude oh wow he built he built that shit better than his indoor club i said this <laughs> shit looks better here. i'm not even lying it's that's better great. than his inside shit that's great so if it rains they're good and so we did i did a show today for for facebook live and it was it was all right man the sound was perfect i was like what? So you did? So there was no crowd, and it was for the internet. There was or? a crowd. No, it was it was pretty packed. Yeah, it was a crowd. Michael oh, Che no. did some. Um, Michael J. Michael Che just did Friday and Saturday. Okay. And so they asked me, hey, because I'm gonna do a weekend, but they said, hey, we want to do. We're doing a show today, and we want you to be on this one. And I came over there for some money, and it was dope. Yeah. How many? Oh, and I put it on my in? live. I had it on my live. I had my live on. What'd you say? How many people did they uh, let in? It's uh, it's that that seats about that can I think that's maybe one something or maybe maybe between about a hundred I think about a hundred hundred something people I think that's good. because it's yeah yeah it's pretty good it's nice spread out and you know how you know how comedians we hate outside gigs mm -hmm. but it's not really outside but yeah, the, tent, the tent yeah within the tent and the tent is like the way he soundproofed it this shit is dope I was like this is all right. But right. you sweating your ass off because you in that heat. You in that humidity trying to be funny. But you know what? There's something about, you know, when you're at your humidity and you're killing, and you be like, ah, yeah, so. Nigga, anyway. I, was in, I was in Aruba, um, and the humidity was so thick. I swear to you, after about five minutes of my, and I said this on stage, I was like, God damn it, my outfit feel like a wet nap. <laughs> like the whole thing. <laughs> and I had a towel. The whole time, right. I was like, ugh. Yeah. And the worst is like, when it burns your face, gets in your eye and shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, so so how's um that one thing we was doing looking? Uh, I haven't heard from them in a minute, so. uh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, I haven't yeah. heard from them in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's so crazy waiting. as fuck, man. I know one of, was on, um, one of them was on yeah. vacation, you know what I'm saying, with his family. Word, on vacation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Yeah. Man, you ever been on vacation and you you look around and you be like, you know what? I cannot afford this goddamn vacation. Ain't that a bit? Ain't that a bit? And then you there with a bitch, and then it's like, oh shit, I know I can't afford this bitch. How is she even with me? <laughs> the the worst company in the world. How is well, she I'm, even with me? <laughs> I, I can do it. You you got the nineties. I got the nineties. Ladies, ladies. Give yourself a round of applause, all these beautiful black women. Oh, I love me some beautiful black women. Uh -huh. Lady, if your man, if your man take you out to eat, talk about and it. And his ass gotta go to the bathroom, your ass paying for it. Shit. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. If your man goes, baby, I gotta go to the bathroom. Shit, you better follow his ass. <laughs> We call this black hack. Black hack. Black hack. Man, you ever been to the club? Have you ever been to the club? And, and you ask the bartender, how much is the drink? And he's like, $10. You be like, $10? So you wait till the nigga on the stool next to you leave, and you just grab the rest of his drink. You be like, hey, that's it, crazy. That's hey, lady. crazy. Who likes to fuck? <laughs> Who likes to fuck? Come on, I know y'all fucking now. I know I ain't all these motherfuckers on the planet, I'm the only one fucking. Who likes to fuck? <laughs> Shit, you ever be fucking right? You ever be fucking right? You just be fucking. <laughs> you ever fuck? And you fuck so much, 
that you fall asleep on the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> you be like, yeah, go. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Don't ever fuck and fall asleep. Good night. <laughs> Nigga, I hate brothers. You ever fuck with a condom and the condom break? And you know it broke, but you don't stop fucking. <laughs> you be like, oh, you motherfucker. Uh, fucker. Uh, this shit feels amazing. You you good pussy having bitch. And you come and she's like, where the condom? Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you ever who likes to sing? <laughs> Every motherfuckers be ugly than a motherfucker. But if you can sing, you know you getting the pussy. Right? You can be an ugly motherfucker be like, hey girl, can I get your number? Nope. Ooh, yeah. Please! <laughs> God damn! You can be ugly than a motherfucker. All you gotta do is, ooh, yeah. And you get the pussy. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> Give it up to my man, Chicken. How, how many of y'all niggas go to church? Oh, I, I used to go to church, but that shit is expensive. <laughs> you ever go to church with a whole lot of money in your pocket? But during the service, you done gave up so much of your goddamn money, you can't even afford to leave that motherfucker. I'd be like, hey, man, pass the offering plate back around to me. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Don't you hate? Who, who, who Who's in a, a Baptist church? Oh, hell no. We got the Baptists in the house now. Every church talk about nobody want to be gay. Don't talk about being gay. But your choir director, every church got a gay ass choir director. You know his ass gay, but no one talks about it. Good night. <laughs> Man, you ever been in church? And you see the lady shouting, you know the old lady love shout. They be like, no, 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 You ever see one of them big ass hats fall off and the wind go with it? You be like, Lord, I pray for this bald headed bitch jumping around in front of me. Good night. <laughs> Yo, you ever get bored? Church people be phony as hell. Motherfucker be just cursing someone out, and that be the same bitch that be talking in tongues. Bitch, you better shut the fuck up. You lying asshole. Your ass ain't shit. Good night. <laughs> Man, you ever go to the grocery store and they ask you, do I want a bag with that? No, I was gonna carry the whole cart full of groceries in my goddamn forearms, bitch. Good night. Don't you hate when you're in the grocery store and you waiting in line? All you got is like a water and a candy bar. And the motherfucker in front of you, you know, got about $700 worth of groceries and this motherfucker wanna pull out coupons. Oh, hell no. Good night. <laughs> you ever be driving in traffic and you on a two lane road? You behind a slow ass car and the car next to him going the same goddamn speed limit he go. So your ass in the back of them niggas going, I'm gonna swerve to the right, I'm gonna swerve to the left, and I ain't with no goddamn way. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Don't you hate? When you're going on a date, right? And you know, you open the car door for the girl you with, you're like, uh -uh. and she like, uh, you supposed to open that for me. That's why the shit is automatic, bitch, because chivalry is dead in the motherfucker. Good night. <laughs> it's so funny. Somebody <laughs> said you you sound like you sound like Steve Harvey when you do it. Cause Steve Harvey be like. Because he be like, I'll be a monkey for your ass. I don't care. I'll swing for $10 million. Hell, I'll be swinging like a monkey. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Oh, that's for me a goddamn dollar. <laughs> your ass is crazy. My ass getting that money. I don't give a damn. You can call my ass a monkey. I don't give a shit. 
Good night. <laughs> Ten million dollars. Okay. Uh -oh. Ten million dollars. <laughs> Come on, man. Look here, man. Look here, man. People ask me all the time, would you fuck a fat woman for ten million dollars? Look here, man. I done fucked several for free. Okay. <laughs> fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Okay. Fuck out of here. Man. I know this, man. I know this. Why do we both people? have microphones? <laughs> Why? Why? Why do we have microphones? Why? Because it's like it's like we're Linus. It's our blankets. We need that. <laughs> we need that. I need to get... Man, y'all, man, goddamn. <laughs> we see a lot of white people in this motherfucker, Jack. I'm real happy to be in this bitch as much as I fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, that's some funny shit, Jack. This COVID shit is killing niggas, guys. White people got mad when niggas wasn't dying from the shit. And then all of a sudden, niggas start dying from the shit. Yo, this is a real fucked up government, Jack. Shit, they will do anything to kill niggas, goddamn. You ever see Bill Gates? I don't trust this motherfucker. This motherfucker said, we got to stick the niggers first, okay? They, we have to stick the niggers first. We have to. Goddamn. Motherfuckers don't want niggas to live. <laughs> we like roaches, Jack. We ain't going no goddamn way. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no black people catching COVID. Okay? I don't care, man. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they report. Ain't no black people out here catching COVID, man. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm gonna tell you why, man. Listen here, man. Ain't no niggas catching COVID because niggas can't catch co-parents, okay? <laughs> Ain't no black family together, okay? You got to be together to catch an illness, man, okay? Fuck out of here, man. Ain't no co go with niggas, okay? <laughs> Don't no co go with niggas, okay? <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. You know... You know, motherfucker, you know, we in motherfucking quarantine, you know. We're in motherfucking quarantine. And these motherfuckers, you know, I'm trying to wear my mask and shit, you know. I'm old and shit because I can motherfucking catch the shit, you know. You know, I'm trying to motherfucking live with my family. You know, I got kids, you know. I love my wife. I love my motherfucking kids. But motherfucker, during quarantine, I swear to God, for Lord, I'm going to kill this bitch. Let me tell you something, man. Sometimes I just want to go outside. You know, take a motherfucking walk, you know, because because of quarantine, it's motherfucking killing me. I don't give a fuck. It's Ovaltine, quarantine, whatever the fuck it is. I got to leave, you know. I'm standing my wife every day, man. I'm seeing shit grow on her face, all kind of shit, you know. I can't take it, you know. They said, why don't you wear your mask? Motherfucker, shut the fuck up. You know, why don't you wear your mask? I don't need to wear my motherfucking mask. You know, you know. Sometimes I want to catch the COVID just so I can be in a hospital. You know, be away from the bitch. You know, some of my bitch. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I went to my doctor and he said, "Be careful. You don't want to catch COVID nineteen." I said, first of all, Charlie Murphy ain't gonna catch COVID nineteen." Right. Because what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the other one through eighteen COVID. You know, the only thing they gonna catch, the they gonna catch is a motherfucking ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Try, try. I did. Hey. <laughs> what did I tell you, niggas? You niggas didn't believe me. You niggas didn't believe me. I told you, niggas, you were going to get your nigga wake up call. These white folks want to kill every nigga on the planet. I told you. See, <laughs> niggas didn't believe me. No, all you niggas, all you house niggas did not believe that you was going to die. I told you. The first thing, Bill Gates, I can't stand this motherfucker. I want to stab his wife. I told you, motherfuckers, that Bill Gates said we are going to stick niggas first. <laughs> all you niggas don't listen. Now you got your goddamn nigga wake up call. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Donald Trump ain't shit. <laughs> Candace Owens ain't shit. That bitch needs to be stabbed. Everybody needs to be stabbed. I told everybody that they trying to kill niggas. White folks, our white folks are going to do whatever they can 
to kill niggas. Oh, uh, please. Kill the niggas. Kill the niggas. Give them the vaccination first. Oh, God. I told you. See, that's why I told you that I already had a cure. But you niggas didn't want to believe me. You old hound dog ass niggas didn't believe me. I told you Bill Gates is the devil. But you don't want to listen. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs> this has been Comic View 2020. <laughs> Comic View on BET. Coming in eight nights a week. Get your laugh on. Hey, get your laugh on. Hey. Hey, you got you got my text about uh, Charlie Mack, right? Yeah, I don't have his. Do I have his? I don't think I have his number. He can have my number. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send him. I'm, I don't, Hell I don't, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, Charlie. Yeah. yeah, I just don't send it's anybody exactly. in the route just randomly. No, oh, yeah, dude, that that's was fucking appreciate. funny. That was fucking was fun. fun. That was fun. I would, because I, I wanted to do Bill Cosby. Oh yeah. <laughs> you see, do do Bill. <laughs> so everybody has heard of the COVID. It's a disease that we can't see. And people are paranoid because there is a disease that we can't see. Now, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what he's doing. But we all realize that we have to put on the mask. But here is the problem. You see, there's a mask. First, there was a regular mask. It was thin. It was the hospital mask. You put it on, and you felt safe. But then, all of a sudden, the news said, you got the wrong mask. So what am I supposed to do? You said, you need the N5. You need the... The N2 and the 5-6 and the 6-5 and the 8-9. And and now you're sitting in your living room with your shitty little mask. You got a box of them. You bought them. You said you got to, you got to use the mask. I ain't got to buy half these masks. No, you don't have the N5 mask. You got to have the mask. The different, you got to have the filter and the thing. And you say, but I don't have the mask that you're talking about. Now there's a new paranoia. Then you say, fine, I'm going to get the other mask. I'm going to throw these out and waste those masks and get the N5 mask. Now you got the N5 mask. And you're walking around with your <clears throat> N5 mask on. And then they say, oh, your mask is not stylish enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> now we we'll want to get a better mask. I see somebody with a with a, a diamond mask. I see somebody with all mm -hmm. kinds of designs, and I hate my N5 mask. Now I want some stylish masks. What are we now? It has become a fashion show of masks. Now we are now being arrogant, trying to protect ourselves. What am I to do? Good night. <laughs> Nigga, your Bill Cosby is scary. Like, you could you could do a fucking audio book as this nigga, and, and people would really be like, yo, Bill just dropped a new book from prison. <laughs> <laughs> from fucking prison. Once upon a time, there was a man. His name was... Jimmy and Jimmy was a good man, but Jimmy had problems with drugs. Next page, <laughs> guys. I'm done. Uh, if y'all wait for me to do another impression, this nigga is the goat. I, I can't. <laughs> you know, it was James Baldwin's birthday, right? You saw I posted our, our video. It was dope. That yeah, was I dope. I you reposted yeah. our shit. Yeah, yeah. to James Baldwin's birthday, and just now he would have been 96. And I and now I start getting it. I said. He's like, happy birthday, James. And you know Baldwin. Happy birthday, James. I appreciate that you are. It is my birthday, but my birthday, the day I was born, it's not the same as a white child. When a black child 
has a birthday. It's different. How can I have a birthday when it's almost a birth death? It's almost the same psychological thing when a Negro child is born, see? See, when white children have birthday parties, they can also wish for their future. A black child has to almost, after blowing the candles, hope that he survives. But I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> well, I have to say that it's a great day for you, okay? You have to celebrate. We have been so oppressed and so beaten down that we forget that we can celebrate life. We have been so associated with death and not having enough and having white people just take over everything. They take over our jobs. They take over our women, our men. They, they pull the man out of the home and they sell him and they demean him and they degrade him. They take our music from us, okay? Iggy Azalea was a failure. She was totally blasphemous to the rap world. Right. right. Her, her ass wasn't real. So we forget to celebrate ourselves. Okay, we have real ass. We have re Our asses are real. Our oh. lips are real. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. <laughs> 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 nope. <laughs> hey man, you stupid man. What's tomorrow Monday? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm check back in about our uh, our situation. You know, hoping, somebody somebody said, "Hey, be careful of said person." I was like, "Oh, you know, because they've been known to ha 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 ha." And I said, "Oh, okay, we'll see." But I said, either way, he has everything on lock, so nothing can be. And we don't we don't lose anything by having the conversations. You know what I mean? No, yeah, right. You know but, what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it looks very promising, so hopefully, I mean, I don't know. You and know? if it's not, you know, I have a couple of other plays that I'll make, and, and yeah. you know, we'll discuss those, but, um, you know, God brought us this far, and he's going to keep doing it. No doubt. No doubt. Feel me? Yes. All right, man, I'm going to jump off here. You got a you got a whole argument going on in your comments. I don't know what this is. Dude, dude what's someone's about. going horror ass this, horror I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is going on? I don't, I don't know what's going on on my shit. All yeah, I had was I magic and fun, and obviously the whore, you bitch. You're... God damn. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit, okay? I ain't got <laughs> nothing to do with that shit, okay? I don't want to. No. <laughs> Another comedian. Comedian. Oh, I think that's a prior. Blah, blah. Uh, uh. You have a mic up, about... don't you? Don't you have a mic up? What? Don't no, I don't. That's LeVar Walker. Nigga, I saw you doing fucking um, Terry Crews <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Wait, with George Wallace? Yeah, the George Wallace and fucking Terry Crews. Let me tell you, there's just a lot of stupid things out there, a lot of stupid things. I mean, you ever see somebody just so stupid, you know? I mean, sometimes I don't understand, Terry. Terry, you, you, you need to just shut your mouth. Shut up. Just, just keep lifting weights and keep your mouth up. I think, I think you're caught a crap in your brain or something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I'm saying we, as a people, this can get into something dangerous. You're not. Look, look you're not <laughs> understanding. <laughs> I think black supremacy is a problem. There's white supremacy, but there's also black supremacy. I'm not saying, maybe it's because I'm successful, people call me a coon, but black supremacy is just as bad as white supremacy. We have to stop. Shut the fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, that shit's scary, bro. That shit's scary. <laughs> RJ Am I, oh, no. You know what else I got? I got, oh, I told you, I got Harry Belafonte. Oh, I heard you do Harry. You, you heard me do that. Uh -huh. You heard me do that. Harry Belafonte. All right, I'm out. I think man. I had another one. I can't remember. Uh -huh. Some why? Is, someone's saying some crazy shit on here. Yeah, some crazy shit. I'm about to jump off of this shit. I don't want yeah. my live associated <laughs> with it. Look, I don't want my live associated with they argument because uh. Yeah. And but the thing is, we start off. We start off, everything is positive. I started off with two magical children, like, hey, I'm a magic guy. All right. And then it's right. like, you fucking whore Arab. Right. It's like, wait, 
What? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? Dude, I had some India, a uh, uh, crew of Indian people. They, they, there's their sixth time seeing me today at the show, and they were going, "Please, dog, talk about Indian people. Can you please dog us?" I said, "All right." You did, you did Deepak, didn't you? I didn't do Deepak. I did Nigga. just some other Indian jokes. Because life, and you have to understand that life is very important for us. And life, especially in the universe, the body and the mind, and the mind and the body, and the body and the mind. And the body and the mind and the mind and the body can always be in the same circle. But that's the circle of life. The circle of life has to come within the circle. There's another circle, another circle. And if you stay in that circle, it's just very circular. What? Fuck mm -hmm. out of here, dog. You made a hundred million doing that shit? Look at a triangle. You see three sides of that triangle. In your life, your, your, your life is a triangle. Which side are you going to be on? Is it going to be a triangular side or the angle of the tri? You have to think about that in your mind. What? Nigga, you are the worst. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Big up, God. I'm out. I'm going right, uh, to uh, send your number to Charlie and uh, he wants to interview. So. Yeah, so you, you already did your interview with him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, he's got everybody on that bitch. He had Snoop, Will. Snoop. Charlie Mack grew up with Will uh, yeah. Smith. Mm -hmm. Charlie Mack used to give me good advice here and there and saying, just keep doing you, man. No matter how long it takes, man, just stay in your lane. You, you don't worry. You blah, blah, blah. He always just give me good advice, little advice. You know, and I was like, that's cool, man. Charlie Mack is that guy. You don't know how he got to where he, you don't know what he really does. You that's don't what question I him. About. Yeah, I said, yo, I don't know what you do, nigga, but you do, you get it done. <laughs> He's literally Tommy. From, from from Martin. He's Tommy, for sure. <laughs> good night. All right. Yeah. Uh, Sonia what? Curvin. They're all saying good night to me now. They're so sweet. Oh, that's cool. All right. Good night, John Boy. Oh, right, remember I'm gonna that? Send, I'm going to send uh, Charlie back your your, uh, your number. Bet. Hell yeah. My dude. All right, boy. All right, boy.